What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video. Coronavirus has ruined everything and we kind of knew this was going to happen but the day is finally among us. The Premier League matches have been suspended until April the 3rd. The Premier League have just announced this today on their official website. And the Premier League originally planned for all fixtures to go ahead as normal this weekend without any changes. I can't even lie, I was really looking forward to Villa away because I thought it was going to be the last game of football we get to see for a while. But I understand health matters first, I completely get it. I'm not here, I'm not here on a video crying that I'm not going to Villa, that's stupidness. But within hours of that original announcement being made that the Premier League fixtures would go ahead as normal, Mikel Arteta was found positive for coronavirus, which was probably the last news that anybody wanted to hear. And then we got hit with a second one, which is one of our players now. Callum Hudson-Odoi got announced positive for coronavirus, I think two hours after the Arteta news came out as well. And this news has forced an emergency meeting in the Premier League today, and I don't think that meeting even lasts very long, because now all Premier League games are suspended till April, all EFL games are suspended till April, which means all the Championship League 1 and League 2 games are gone as well. FA Cup's gone as well till April, Women's Super League's finished till April and FA Women's Championship matches have been postponed as well. Now originally UEFA were going to close off just a Tuesday matches but now they've postponed Champions League football and Europa League football altogether, which is just basically means all of football's been suspended in the top 5 leagues. Again, it's understandable, this virus has grown at a mad rate over the last couple months and completely understand that health comes first in a situation like this, so you just gotta roll with the times. Now, Chelsea FC reported that Callum Hudson-Odoi displayed symptoms of a cold on Monday and he was sent home as a precaution, but then he was found positive yesterday for the virus. Hudson-Odoi left a message on Twitter, which I'm going to leave here right now. Hi guys, as you may be aware, I had the virus for the last couple of days, which I've recovered from. I'm following the health guidelines and self-isolating myself from everybody for the week. I hope to see everybody soon and hopefully be back on the pitch very soon. Take care. Now since then Chelsea training has been called off with Cobham partially closed, all the players and staff who have come into contact with Hudson-Odoi also are going into self-isolation for the next two weeks and well, when it comes to Premier League it makes complete sense, I mean with Arsenal now uh, Mikel Arteta has been, been found positive, all of their players also need to go into self-isolation for the next two weeks. Anyone that's played Arsenal over the next two weeks is going to be a little bit worried as well. And you take and you take into account the fact they've played Olympiacos as well and their owner has just been found positive for coronavirus as well. You can see where the spread's starting to come in. And it did look a little bit worrying going into the game anyway. I didn't think that that Leicester v Chelsea match in the cup was going to happen because three Leicester players were were found to have symptoms of coronavirus and they played Villa who are playing us who are meant to be playing us tomorrow so you see how it all starts to fall into into place and how the infection could start to spread a little bit Manolo Gabbiadini found positive of coronavirus he would have played against a bunch of different teams over the last two weeks as well and it could spread as well so it makes sense that all the football's gonna have to go into lockdown over the next couple weeks it is a bit mad though I will say this is a no one expected this to happen this is mad that I'm even talking about this football has gone into lockdown for the next three weeks and to be honest I think with the Premier League it was bound to happen they were facing enough backlash just because they were going to go ahead with the fixtures and this was before Mikel Arteta and Hudson Odoi were found positive for coronavirus so that's a completely understandable decision now as things stand our next three games are postponed. Those are the ones against Aston Villa, Bayern Munich and Leicester City. I'm not sure how many others are suspended as well because we still had that international break coming at the end of March. I'm not even sure there was going to be a lot of fixtures remaining for the rest of this month. But as things stand, if, if the Premier League fixtures don't get moved further forward than, August the than April the 3rd, then our next game is West Ham away on the 5th of April. And with the potential of Euro 2020 being moved to 2021 to accommodate for all this... To, uh, let me redo that. With the potential of Euro 2020 being moved to 2021 to accommodate for all the suspended games both domestically and in Europe, we could see the season ending in June at this rate, which, let's be real, is still dependent on how this virus even well, how, how this virus is even managed over the next couple of months. Because apparently compared to according to experts, we haven't even hit our peak with this virus yet. So it could get a lot worse before it gets better. And if it gets a lot worse, expect there to be no football for an even longer period of time. Now, if games continue to get postponed further and further past April, if we're looking towards June or July, that's going to create a little bit of a domino effect. It's going to have a lot of effects on certain parts of football. First one is the Euros. Euros is probably going to get cancelled regardless, just so we can catch up and 
the, all of the top five football leagues can catch up on all the suspended matches. It makes sense that Euro 2020 is going to be suspended. I think rumours are saying that there is going to be an announcement on it next week where Euro 2020 is going to be moved to 2021 to accommodate for all of the postponed fixtures so far. But if games continue to get postponed even, in, even further than that into July, then contracts start to become a problem. You look at our entire front three from the Chelsea win against Everton in our last game. William, Drew, and Pedro all in the last couple months of their contract. And if games get pushed into July, they potentially won't be Chelsea players when those games are played. Now, that's going to be a problem for us in terms of our lineup and everything, but it's also going to give them a lot more leverage when it comes to contract negotiations. William wanted a three year wants a three-year deal for his for his new contract Chelsea only want to give him one or two you know what Chelsea are like with over 30s anyway same thing with Giroud and Pedro now Giroud I think is going to be more willing to sign a new contract we know he's, he's happy to be a bit part player but as long as he as long as he gets some sort of game time Pedro I personally think it's his time anyway so Pedro will probably be going anyway but Contracts are going to start to become a problem. And this ain't just going to be Chelsea. It's going to be a problem all over the league. Loanies as well. Now, I'm not sure how much of a problem that is for us this year because of the transfer ban. I'm not sure how many loans we made in or out. But there's still, got, there's still going to be an issue for that throughout the rest of the league as well. One positive for us, though, with this issue of contract negotiations is that when we hit July 1st, Hakim Ziyech will be a Chelsea player. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be registered to play Premier League games or not. But with this whole coronavirus situation, everything's moving mad. And personally, I think anything's possible. Ziyech would legally be a Chelsea player from July the 1st. Same way that when July 1st hits, Giroud, Willian and Pedro could potentially legally not be Chelsea players and not have to play any games for us. And we'll also be able to look for another club as well. There's a lot that is, get, that is going to become a lot more complicated because of coronavirus. And it is just throwing a spanner in everything. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Take care, guys. I can only really say that. Take care, wash your hands, be safe, and I'll see you for the next game, whenever the next game is. Up the Chelsea.